2100 points the end goal for most people when it comes to competitive 2100 points is majority of everybody's end goal just to get the pinnacle weapon and that's it some might be going for legend but for majority of the people 2100 points is your goal now if you're not doing too, too hot and competitive, maybe you're struggling, right? You hear a lot of people talk about, all you need to do, bro, is practice. Just practice. But where do you practice? Say you have 1,100 points and you want to practice. Where do you go? Do you go, do you go into competitive and risk your 1,100 points? The time it took you to get that? If you solo queued, if you ran with your friends, or hey, maybe you had someone carry you to 1,100 points. Do you really want to risk it because you want to practice or do you go into quick play and deal with the, the chaos that is quick play spectra blades supers power ammo hey the first four minutes of quick play is great but towards the very end of it it's chaotic it, it's it's stupid do you really want to deal with you know getting melted by a hammerhead or do you even want to deal with the six-man teams hey it's there too do you want to deal with that? Of course not. Nobody wants to. Because at the end of the day, when the guy in comp is slaying you, he's not going to say, Hey, Brave, you're not strafing hard enough to beat me. Of course not. He's not. He's not going to take time to tell you how to get better. Because at the end of the day, he's re regardless, he's your enemy. The guy in quick play isn't going to stop and tell you, Hey, Brave, that was terrible for you to double peek on that. No, he's just going to melt your face, call it a night, and be happy that he won. So where do you go? A lot of people say Rumble is a great place to practice. Rumble is a great place to practice, but at the end of the day, there's still supers there. How do you control the chaos? How do you practice with a weapon? Maybe you want to practice with your thorn. Maybe you're on console and you want to practice the recoil of the thorn, but you can't because every time you go to quick play, you feel like you have to go 100% sweat mode. So where do you practice, right? So guys, I'm gonna let you in some insight here. This isn't nothing new. This is something I've been doing since Halo, Halo 2, Halo 3. Back to the times when I was with my friends playing Lockout or playing Blackout, practicing to get better. Because when it came to ranked rather than social, in ranked, everything meant there. It was it was balls to the wall. You wanted to win. You don't want to risk anything. You don't want to risk one match because you know if you lost one, you'd have to win three or four more just to get that progress back. So you would go into private matchmaking. Now we're going to go over just eight things that you guys can focus on when you go in private matchmaking. Well, Brave, I don't have... 12 players to run with i don't have eight players to run with well you don't need that many players you just need one other person and yourself if you just want to practice the basics now a lot of people have clans a lot of people have friends hey your buddy who does nothing but the raid i guarantee you he has impeccable aim if you can slay ads that quickly i'm sure he can give you a little some run for your money but tell him hey come on jump in some, some uh some private matchmaking with me so what i like about private matchmaking is the fact that you can number one guys control the chaos if you tell your two other friends maybe you're going to a rumble or 1v1v1 you're like hey man control chaos no supers and no heavy strictly gunplay that's all it is gunplay you got your your primary you got your special that's all we're going to use that's number one guys this is what i like about private matchmaking now the second thing you can practice your aim you can understand weapon recoil. Maybe you can't use certain weapons because the recoil is too great and you haven't had time to practice because when you do want to practice, you're in quick play. It doesn't happen. Maybe you want to practice the range or understand the range of your weapon or the damage drop off or practice your sniping through flinch. You can do that in private matchmaking. And number two, guys, for my console players out there, I see a 50-50 in the comment section. 50% of my console players are saying, Brave, I can't use the Ace. It is unusable on console. It is unusable. You can't use the Thorn on console. You can't use the last word. It is unusable, which it is possible to become proficient because I see the other 50% of console players saying, Brave, I, I can use the Thorn. The Thorn is my, is my go-to weapon. The last word is my go-to weapon. They are usable. Yes. Will you be struggling a bit? Yeah. But why do you want to struggle in quick play? Why do you want to struggle in comp? struggle with your friends in private matchmaking and get better with it because yeah you can take the easy road and go put on a 180 but i promise you getting good with big three will pay off in the long run so number four guys while playing private matchmaking you can start understanding spawn points if you're doing a 2v2 or a 3v3 and you wipe one team your friends on one side of the map 
they're gonna spawn on the other side of the map. Well, that's obvious, Brave. They're spawning on that side of the map. What does that do to me? Well, take a look at like this. They're gonna spawn on that side of the map. They're gonna wanna engage you. Do they just wanna run straight in, uh, straight into your, uh, your sight lines? Of course not. So how are they gonna engage you? From different avenues. Because they wanna win. They wanna be able to beat you. Now, how does this translate over to competitive? In competitive, you don't know what these, these enemies are gonna do, but if you are well versed in the maps that are in competitive, you will become better at some of these, you know, tactics. And then another thing, guys, number five is your team, you can team coordinate, you can learn callouts, you can practice flanking. And one thing I, I wish a lot of people understood is collapsing on players. That is key for competitive. You can do all this. If you were 3v3 with some friends, and there's one guy who just spawned in and he's on one side of the map and his other two friends are on the other side of the map learn how to collapse on that solo player because he will not take down three enemies you know learn how to collapse like that practice flanking if you if you have two teammates that are engaging your friends to learn how to flank and get the flank on them these are things you should be practicing that it's very difficult to practice in quick play the other one guys this is, this is major right here you can start finding your flaws and improving your gameplay what do you mean brave Finding flaws and improving your gameplay. When you start playing with somebody, you know, over and over and over again, you start seeing what they do. Okay, Brave likes to slide before every engagement. I'm gonna read the radar. Once he slides out, I'm gonna prime him with that arc bolt. I'm gonna hit him with a solar grenade. So once he starts burning, I just clean him up real quick. Once that starts happening to me, oh crap, he's hitting me with a solar grenade every time. I have to change my gameplay. I have to improve my gameplay and grow as a player. Because in competitive, people can learn on the fly just like that. And this will help you improve. And the other thing, when it talks about growing as a player, overall, everyone will start learning your weaknesses and use them against you. So why not start improving now? Number seven, guys. And this is another big one here. This is one I like to do all the time. You can ask some of the people in my Discord. I love to go against, you know, the odds. Put the odds stacked up against you. Play the disadvantage. Have your friends do a 2v1 against you. If you're the PvP god in your clan, hey man, I need two guys to go against me, you know, so I can practice my aim, practice this. I can start practicing two of the things I like to talk about, target prioritization and working under pressure. Now, sounds like, oh, that sounds like a lot of work. It's actually not, guys. Just have two of your better players go against you and you'll be able to focus. I'm telling you, it, it works really well. And how does this translate over to comp? In comp, you will be going against people who will 2v1 you because your teammates are busy on the side of the map. Maybe you're capturing zone A and two guys are pressing you. You'll start learning how to target prioritization. Okay, target A is in front of me. Target B is to the left of me. There's cover in front of me. So I can, I can just avoid target A for now and focus on target B or vice versa. There's a rock to the left of me. If I scoot up a little further, target B can't hit me. I can focus on target A. These are things you can start focusing on. And guys, number eight, and this is really good here, this is what I like about private matches. You can practice on competitive maps. This is where they all, you know, all kind of combine together, one through seven. Practice on competitive maps. You're not going to practice on maps you never see. You're going to practice on competitive maps. You can practice on competitive game modes. Learn spawn points on competitive maps. Learn how to take the disadvantage and play the disadvantage on competitive maps. Learn good sight lines on competitive maps. You see where I'm going with this? You can eventually overall get better play game modes yeah sure i can't do a i don't have eight people on i can't do a 4v4 in alter flame but i can play a 3v3 a 2v2 there has been plenty of times that i've done 1v1s against my friends and i'm like you know what man i'm gonna use the last word and a sniper i'm gonna try to beat you and he goes cool he puts on his pulse rifle okay i gotta close the gap and do this and do that you can make anything you want in private matchmaking and it'll eventually translate over to comp and hey if you end up getting better and better and better, you can thank me in the comment section. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Again, these are things I do. I've been asked plenty of times, how do I practice with all the chaos happening in quick play? You know, how do I practice if I don't practice in comp? You know, because again, nobody wants to lose points. It's private matchmaking, guys. And so I've been doing it since Halo. You know, it's nothing new. Any, any good player can tell you that going against, you know, their better friends is by far the best way you can get better, become a better player. So if you guys haven't stopped by my streams, I've been streaming on the weekends. I've been taking just random accounts to 2,100 points. Just kind of, you know, doing it for a fun thing, putting on random weapons or, hey, I think this upcoming weekend, I'm probably going to use an account with nothing but blues and greens and try to go to 2,100 points. So if you guys haven't stopped by or dropped a follow, hey, my 
twitch.tv slash bravexhero do it guys it's fun we have a blast we talk about a lot of things you guys can see me you know do the disadvantage you guys can see me win some games maybe lose some games majority of this past weekend we've been having a blast i think we've been winning almost like 85 percent of our games and i've been showing why i'm doing this because of this guys or doing this because of this so if you guys haven't stop on by hope you guys find the video helpful let me know if you've been doing this or maybe hey brave this is new insight to me thank you so much i'm gonna try this out other than that guys you have a great day and remember this is just part two to our guide to 2100 points and i'll see you guys in the next video Hey, did you enjoy the video? Click right there for a random video. Click right there for my latest video. Stay up to date with BraveX Hero. If you haven't followed me on Twitch, I recommend it. Go do it right now. Twitch.tv slash BraveX Hero. New to the channel? Subscribe button right there. Click it. Do it. Do it now. I'll see you guys in the next video.